substitution method or replacement method. I have these many linear equations here. I have to solve them by substitution method. Now, what is substitution method? We will learn along with solving the questions. Substitution method or replacement method means substitute value for x or y from one equation to the second equation or from second equation to the first equation to get the solution for x and y. In easy terms, I will say I have x plus y as 14 this is my first equation. Now, this can be written as x is equal to 14 minus y. Same equation I can write for y, y is equal to 14 minus x. So from first equation I have value for x and value for y. x is equal to 14 minus y and y is equal to 14 minus x. Now, my equation number 2 is x minus y is equal to 4. That's my second equation. Now, in this equation I have x. Value for x is 14 minus y. x is equal to 14 minus y. I'll replace 14 minus y for x minus y equal to 4 which is 14 minus 2y equals to 4. Same thing, in this equation itself, I can replace value for y for this value, 14 minus x, y is equal to 14 minus x. So x minus 14 minus x equals to 4. So x minus 14 plus x is equal to 4. 2x minus 14 equals to 4. So, from first equation, I have both the values, value for x, value for y. I can replace any one of the values in equation number 2. Here, I have replaced x with this and got 14 minus 2y equals to 4. Now, the benefit is from two variables, I have only one variable. I can solve this very easily. Same equation. In place of replacing x, I can replace y with this, y is equal to 14 minus x. From two variables, I have only one variable, which can easily be solved. Okay, here I have taken first equation to find out value of x and y and plot it into second equation. I can do the same thing with second equation and plot them into first equation. Second equation is x minus y equals to 4. So x would be 4 plus y or negative y is equal to 4 minus x. So y is equal to x minus 4. I have x value which is equal to 4 plus y. I have y value which is equal to x minus 4. This is my second equation. Okay. Let's take the first equation now x plus y equals to 4. I will do the same thing what I have done here. This x value can be replaced with this value. x is equal to 4 plus 5. 4 plus 5 plus y equals to 14. 4 plus 2y equals to 14. Now, same thing. This y can be replaced with this value. y is equal to x minus 4. So, x stays as it is plus y is x minus 4 x minus 4 equals to 14 so 2x minus 4 equals to 14 you can see from two variables by substitution method I have only one variable to solve which I can easily solve and get the value of y here also from two variables I have one variable which I can easily solve and get the value of x. So that's the way we use substitution method. We can take out value for x or for y from either first equation or from second equation. If I take out value of x and y from first equation, we put them into second equation. If I take out value of x and y from second equation, we put them into first equation. Do not take out value of x and y from first equation and try to put them back into first equation. Or if you take out from second e equation, do not try to put them back into second equation. That will not give you any solution. So that was in short about 
substitution method as we solve some questions our understanding would be better on this method now let's try to solve this question here x plus y is equal to 14 let's take out x from here so x is equal to 14 minus y I have x value equals to 14 minus y which I have found out from this equation now I will work on this equation here it says x minus y is equal to 4 I can replace this x with this value because x is equal to 14 minus y so I'll write 14 minus y minus y is equal to 4 14 minus 2y is equal to 4 minus 2y is equal to 4 minus 14 negative 2y is equal to negative 10 negative negative cancelled so y is equal to 10 over 2 which is 5 I have y equals to 5 now x minus y is equal to 4 this equation here where I have got y is equal to 5 x minus 5 is equal to 4 x is equal to 4 plus 5 x is equal to 9 so I have got x as 9 y as 5 in this equation here if I take 9 for x 5 for y 9 plus 5 14 in this equation here I take 9 for x 5 for y 9 minus 5 equals to 4 so solution for this equation is x is equal to 9 y is equal to 5 I have done this through substitution method or we can call it replacement method let's work on this let's take the easy equation s minus t equals to 3 so s would be 3 plus t now I'll use this equation s over 3 plus t over 2 is equal to 6 I have s equal to 3 plus t so this s replaced with this 3 plus t over 3 plus t over 2 equals 6 let's take the LCM so this will be 6 plus 2t plus 3t equal to 6 2t plus 3t will be 5t so 6 plus 5t over 6 is equal to 6 6 plus 5t would be 6 into 6 36 so 5t would be 36 minus 6 which is 30 so t would be 30 over 5 which is 6 so I have t as 6 let's put this t into this equation here s minus t equals to 3 so s minus t is 6 equal to 3 t is 6 here so s would be 3 plus 6 9 so I have s as 9 t as 6 that's the answer here this one here 3x will be equal to 3 plus y so x is equal to 3 plus y over 3 this time I have taken x value let's replace x in this equation this is 9 into x is 3 plus y over 3 minus 3y equals to 9 so this will be 9 plus 3y minus 3y equals to 9 cancel 9 is equal to 9 now this situation has come because this pair of linear equation will give us coincident lines if you look closely at this equation and this equation 3x minus y is equal to 3 and if you multiply this equation with 3 will give you 9x minus 3y equals to 9 9x minus 3y equals to 9 9x minus 3y is equal to 9 it means this equation and this equation both are same when they are same means a1 over a2 will be equal to b1 over b2 will be equal to c1 over c2 means this will give us coincident line means infinitely many solutions that's the answer for this question let's look into this 
let's try to cancel these decimal terms i'll multiply this equation by 10 this will be 0.2x into 10 will give me 2x this will be 3y and this will be 13 i can do the same with this this will be 4x plus 5y equals to 23 i can do this 2x is equal to 13 minus 3y so x is equal to 13 minus 3y over 2. so i have x value i'll replace this x with this value so 4 into 13 minus 3y over 2 plus 5y equals to 23 so this will be 26 minus 6y plus 5y equals to 23 so this will be 26 minus y equals to 23 so negative y would be 23 minus 26 so negative y is equal to negative 3 negative negative cancels so y is equal to 3 i have y is equal to 3 let's use any of the equations i'll use this one so 2x plus 3y y is 3 so 3 into 3 will be 9 equals to 13 so 2x would be 13 minus 9 gives you 4 so x will be 4 over 2 that is 2 so x is 2 and y is 3 that's the answer here this one here root 2x plus root 3y equals to 0 root 2x will be equal to 0 minus root 3y so x will be negative root 3y equal over root 2 let's try to rationalize this so this can be if i multiply root 3 over y over root 2 into root 2 over root 2 this gives me 3 into 2 root 6 root 6 over root 2 into root 2 will be 2 y negative this is already negative so now i have x is equal to root 6 over 2 y let's replace this value in this equation this is root 3 x minus root 8 y equals to 0 so root 3 into negative root 6 over 2 y minus root 8 can be root 8 can be root 2 into 2 into 2 these two will come out as 1 2 and this single 2 stays inside so root 8 can be 2 root 2 so i'll write 2 root 2 y equals to 0 so this will be root 3 into root 6 will be root 18 root 3 into root 6 will be root 18 which can be 3 into 3 into 2 root 3 into 3 comes out as 1 3 root 2 stays inside so root 3 into root 6 will give you 3 root 2 and this 2 the bottom negative y minus 2 root 2 y equals to 0 this will be negative 3 root 2 y minus 4 root 2 y equals to 0 so this will be let's take negative root 2 as common so this will be 3 plus 4 so this will be negative 7 root 2 y equals to 0 2 into 0 is 0 so y is equal to 0 7 root 2 goes this side 0 over 7 root 2 negative is 0 so y is 0 let's replace this y into any of the expressions so root 2x plus root 3y is 0 equals to 0 so root 2x plus 0 equals to 0 so root 2x equals to 0 so x is equal to 0 over root 2 which is 0 so x is 0 y will also be 0 that's the answer for this equation let's look into this one so this is 3 over 2x minus 5 over 3y plus negative 2. So 3 over 2x would be negative 2 plus 5 over 
y so x would be negative 2 plus y over 3 y into 2 over 3 so this is uh, negative 6 plus 5y into 2 over 3 this would be negative 12 plus 10 y over 9 so x is equal to negative 12 plus 10 y over 9 negative 6 multiplied with 2 gave you negative 12 5 y with 2 gave you 10 y over 3 to 3 is 9 now replace now let's replace this value of x in this equation here so x over 3 means negative 12 plus 10 y over 9 over 3 plus y over 2 equals to 13 over 6 so negative 12 plus 10 y over 9 into 1 over 3 plus y over 2 to 13 over 6 so this would be negative 12 plus 10 y over 27 plus y over 2 equals to 13 over 6 so this would be lc of 27 and 2 would be 54 so this would be negative 24 plus 20y plus 27y equals to 13 over 6 so this would be negative 24 plus 47y over 54 equals to 13 over 6 so negative 24 plus 47y into 6 equals to 13 into 54 so negative 24 plus 47y equals to 13 into 54 over 6 so this would be 47y equals to 13 into 9 117 plus 24 so 47y is equal to 141 117 plus 24 gives you 141 so y would be 141 over 47 which is 3 47 into 3 is 141 so y is equal to 3 okay let's put this y value in this equation here as 3 so x over 3 plus y is 3 so 3 over 2 equals to 13 over 6 so x over 3 equals to 13 over 6 minus 3 over 2 so this will be 13 minus 9 so x over 3 is equal to 4 over 6 so x is equal to 4 over 6 into 3 where x is equal to 2 so x is 2 and y is 3 x is 2 and y is 3 that's the answer for this equation here done this question here it says Solve 2x plus 3y equals to 11 and 2x minus 4y equals to negative 24 and hence find the value of m for which y is equal to mx plus 3. So first of all let's solve this equation here. I have 2x plus 3y equals to 11 and I have 2x minus 4y equals to negative 24. This is the first equation, this is the second equation. I'll use this first equation to get the value for say x. So 2x would be 11 minus 3y. So x can be 11 minus 3y over 2. Let's replace this value of x here in this equation. So this will be 2 into 11 minus 3y over 2 minus 4y equals to negative 24. So this is cancelled. So 11 minus 3y minus 4y 
gives you negative 24. So 11 minus 7y gives you negative 24. So this would be negative 7y is equal to negative 24 minus negative 11. So negative 7y is equal to negative 35. Negative never did cancel. y is equal to 35 over 7 gives you 5. So I have y as 5. So let's replace value of y in this equation. So this will be 2x plus 3y. y is 5. So 3 into 5 equals to 11. So 2x plus 15 equals to 11. 2x would be 11 minus 15. So 2x is negative 4. x is negative 2. Negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. Okay, so I have x as negative 2 and y as 5. Okay. Now it says find the value of m for which y is equal to mx plus 3. Here, y is equal to mx plus 3 and I have to find out the value of m. I know my y, I know my x, y is 5, x is negative 2 plus 3. So this will be 5 minus 3 equals to negative 2m, 5 minus 3 gives you 2 equals to negative 2m. So m would be 2 over 2 negative. So m is negative 1. So y is equal to mx plus 3. So m would be negative 1. x negative 2. y is 5. That's the answer here. Done? This question here it says, form the pair of linear equations for the following problems and find their solutions by substitution method. Problem number one, the difference between two numbers is 26 and one number is three times the other. Find them. Suppose first number is say x and second number is say y. It says difference between them is 26 means x minus y is 26. And one number is three times the other means x is three times of y. If I have to equate x and y, it says x is already 3 times of y. So if I increase y 3 times, this will be equal to x. So x is equal to 3y or x minus 3y is equal to 0. This is the first equation. This is the second equation. x minus y is 26. So x can be 26 plus y. Let's replace this x with this value of x. 26 plus y. So 26 plus y minus 3y equals to 0. So 26 minus 2y equals to 0. So negative 2y would be 0 minus 26. Negative 2y would be negative 26. Negative every cancels. So y would be 26 over 2, that is 14. So y is 13. Let's replace this y here with 13. So x minus 13. 26. So x would be 26 plus 13. That is 39. So x is 39 and y is 13. That's the answer here. The difference between them is 26. 39 and 13. They have difference of 26. One number is 3 times the other. 39 is 3 times of 13. So x is 39 and y is 13. That's the answer here. This question here it says, the larger of two supplementary angles exceeds the smaller by 18 degrees. Find them by substitution method. It says supplementary angles means some of them would be 180 degrees. So if suppose I'll write larger is x and smaller is y. x degree, y degree. So x plus y would be 180. Sum of supplementary angles, 180 degrees, first equation. It says larger of two supplementary angles exceed the smaller by 18 degrees means this larger one is already 18 degrees bigger than the smaller one, which is y. So if I have to equate x and y, x is already 18 degrees bigger. So if I increase y also, it will be equal to x. So x minus y equals to 18, second equation. 
x plus y is 180. So x would be 180 minus y. x minus y is 80. Replace this x with this value. So 180 minus y minus y is equal to 18. So minus 2y is equal to 180 minus 18, which is 162. Negative. Cancel. Y is equal to 162 divided by 2 gives you 81. X plus Y is 180. X plus Y is 81 equals to 180. So X would be 180 minus 81, which is 99 degrees. So larger angle X degrees would be 99 degrees. Smaller angles Y degrees would be 81 degrees. That's the answer. This question here it says the coach of a cricket team buys seven bats and six balls for rupees 3800. Later, she buys three bats and five balls for rupees 1750. Find the cost of each bat and each ball through substitution method. Let's take bat as x rupees per piece. Uh, ball as y rupees per piece okay it says seven bats and six balls seven bats at the rate of x rupees per piece plus six balls at the rate of y rupees per piece cost you total 3800 cost equation second three bats at the rate of x rupees per piece plus Five balls at the rate of y rupees per piece cost you 1750. That's the second equation. Okay, let's take up this one. So 7x would be 3800 minus 6y. So x would be 3800 minus 6y over 7. Let's replace this x with this value. So 3 into 3800 minus 6y over 7 plus 5y equals to 1750. So this will be 11,400 minus 18y over 7 plus 5y equals to 1750. So this will be 11400 minus 18y plus 35y equals to 1750. So this will give you 11400 plus 17y equals to 1750 into 7. So which is 17y would be 1750 into 7 gives you 12250 minus this goes aside 11400. 17y is equal to 850. So y is equal to 850 over 17 gives you 50. So y is 50. Let's put this value in this equation here. So 7x is equal to 3800 minus 6 into y is 50. 7x is equal to 3800 minus 300. 6 into 50 is 300. 3800 minus 300 gives you 3500. So x would be equal to 500. So price of ball is 50 rupees per piece and price of bat would be 500 rupees per piece. So x is 500 and y is 50. That's the answer here. Alright. This question here it says the taxi charges in a city consists of a fixed charge together with a charge for the distance covered. Means fixed charges plus charges as per distances covered. For a distance of 10 kilometers, the charge paid is rupees 105. And for a journey of 15 kilometers, the charge paid is 155. What are the fixed charges and the charges per kilometers? How much does a person have to pay for a traveling a distance of 25 kilometers means we have to find out fixed charge and charges per kilometer fixed charges means no matter how many kilometers you are traveling 1 2 10 100 whatever it is 
there would be some fixed charges. On top of that, charges as per kilometers will be charged. Okay, I put it this way. For example, fixed charges are x rupees. These charges will remain fixed, be it 1 kilometer, 10 kilometer, 100, whatever kilometers. Then I'll write charges as per distance. This is y rupees per kilometer. Y rupees per kilometer. Now, it says for a distance of 10 kilometers, the charge paid is 105. Means this 105 has fixed charge, which is x rupees, and it has charge for a distance also, which is 10 kilometers. Those 10 kilometers will be charged y rupees per kilometer means plus 10 kilometers at the rate of y rupees per kilometer. So that's my first equation. Second equation is for a journey of 15 kilometers, the charge paid was 155. Same 155 we paid, which includes fixed charge plus charges for 15 kilometers at the rate of y rupees per kilometer. That's my second equation. Now I have two equations. I can easily solve them. x plus 10y equals to 105. So x would be 105 minus 10y. I will replace this x with this one. 105 minus 10y plus 15y is equal to 155. So this would be 5y equals to 155 minus 105. 15y minus 10y gives you 5y. 105 goes this side, 155 minus 105. 5y would be 155 minus 105 gives you 50. So y would be 50 over 5, that is 10. So y is 10 rupees per kilometer. I can find out x. So x plus 10y. 10 into y is 10. 10 into 10 is equal to 105 x plus 100 is equal to 105 so x is 105 minus 100 gives you 5 rupees so fixed charge is 5 rupees and variable charge or charge per kilometer is 10 rupees per kilometer now if i see for 10 kilometers he will pay 10 into 10 100 rupees plus 5 rupees fixed 155 for 15 kilometers he will pay 15 into 10 150 plus 5 fixed now it says how much does a person have to pay for traveling a distance of 25 kilometers so 25 kilometers so I'll write charges for 25 kilometers 5 rupees fixed plus 25 into into 10 so 5 plus 250 which is 255 rupees total he has to pay x is 5 y is 10 and charges for 25 kilometers would be 255 rupees total done this question here it says a fraction becomes 9 over 11 if 2 is added to both the numerator and the denominator if 3 is added to both the numerator and the denominator it becomes 5 over 6 find the fraction by this method substitution method I'll write suppose numerator is x and denominator is say y. It says the fraction becomes 9 over 11 if 2 is added to both the numerator and the denominator. If I add 2 to numerator and 2 to denominator it becomes 9 over 11 and if I add 3 it becomes 5 over 6 so x plus 3 and y plus 3 is 5 over 6 that's the first equation that's the second equation this one would be x plus 2 multiplied with 11 this one y plus 2 multiplied with 9 so this will be 11x plus 22 equals to 9y plus 18 so 11x minus 9y equals to 18 minus 22 that's minus 4 i can write as 11x is equal to 9y minus 4 this 9y goes this side becomes positive. So I'm taking it first 9y, negative 4. 
and x would be 9y minus 4 over 11. Let's replace this x in this equation here. 6x plus 18 equals to 5y plus 15. So 6x means 6, 9y minus 4 over 11 plus 18 is equal to 5y plus 15. So this can be 54y minus 24 over 11. And this 5y goes this side, minus 5y equals to 15. 18 goes this side, minus 18. So, so this would be 54y minus 24 minus 55y equals to negative 3. So 54y minus 55y gives you negative y. So negative y minus 24 over 11 equals to negative 3. So negative y minus 24 over 11 equals to minus 3. This can be negative y minus 24 equals to negative 33. So negative y is equal to negative 33 plus 24. So negative y is equal to 33 minus 24 gives you negative 9. So y is equal to 9. Let's take this equation and replace y with 9. x plus 3 over y is 9 plus 3 is equal to 5 over 6. So x plus 3 into 6 equals to 9 plus 3 is 12 into 5 is 60. So x plus 3 would be 10. 60 over 6 gives you 10. So x would be 10 minus 3 is 7. So x is 7 and y is 9. If you write it into fraction x over y equals to 7 over 9. If I add 2 in both, so this would be 9 over 11. If I add 3, this would be 10 over 12, which is 5 over 6. So my answer is correct. X is 7, Y is 9. Done. This question here, it says, 5 years hence, the age of Jacob will be 3 times that of his son. 5 years ago, Jacob's age was 7 times that of his son. What are the present ages? Means we have to find out age of Jacob and his son by this method, substitution method. Suppose present age of Jacob is say x years and present age of his son is say y years. So after five years, after five years, Jacob's age would be x plus five, son's age y plus five. Okay. Five years ago, I'll write Five years ago, what was Jacob's age? X minus five. Five years ago, what was his son's age was? Y minus five. Now, it says five years after, age of Jacob will be three times that of his son. Means this age of Jacob is three times of his son's age. Means X plus five is three times of Y plus five. If I have to equate x plus 5 and y plus 5, means x plus 5 and y plus 5. This x plus 5 is already 3 times more than y plus 5. It means if I increase my y 3 times, it will be equal to this. So equation is x plus 5 is equal to 3y plus 15. So x minus 3y would be... 15 minus 5 is 10. That's my first equation. Second equation. 5 years ago means this x minus 5, y minus 5. Jacob's age was 7 times that of his son. Means I have to equate x minus 5 and y minus 5. x minus 5, y minus 5. This age of Jacob is 7 times more than his son's age 5 years ago. Means x minus 5 is 7 times more than y minus 5. So I increase this by 7 times, this will be equal. x minus 5 would be 7y minus 35. So x minus 7y would be negative 35 plus 5. So x minus 7y would be negative 
30. That's the second equation. x minus 3y equals to 10. So x would be 10 plus 3y. And let's take this value and put it here. x minus 7y, x is 10 plus 3y, so 10 plus 3y minus 7y equals to negative 30. So 3y minus 7y minus 4y is equal to negative 30, negative 10. So minus 4y is equal to minus 40. So y would be 40 over 4, which is 10 years. So son's present age is 10 years. Now let's find out Jacob's age. So x minus 3, y is 10, 10 equals to 10. So x minus 30 equals to 10. So x is equal to 10 plus 30 gives you 40. This is 40 years. So Jacob's present age is 40 years, son's present age is 10 years. That's the answer here.